Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second year experience of drama school, in particular East 15. And I'm just gonna talk you through the modules and the lessons, my experiences of them, social life, and different bits and bobs along the way. If you haven't seen my first year experience video, go check that out first so you can sort of hear the run up to this one. Um, and you'll definitely see how different first year and second year were for me and in terms of the course as well as just life in general and I'll be making a third year experience video as well in the next week or so and then that one will be up too so you can see the whole journey from first year to the end of third year and my experience of it and whether I thought the course was good or different modules are good and things like that so I went to East 15 I was at the South End campus and I was on the world performance course and this is the rundown of second year let's begin second year everything starts to actually be marked and taken into account for your final degree mark in second year so you do have to knuckle down a lot more in terms of getting grades um i've always worked really hard anyway in first year so it wasn't really a jump up in that sense um but the essays in second year did count this time and all of your practical marks did go to 50% of your final grade. So we split it, second year and third year was 50-50 and that would make your final degree grade at the end of third year. So the summer between first year and second year, we were given the chance to go to Bali on a course. And this is part of my degree course. So you had the chance to go to Bali and Moscow um, with World Performance course and i signed up to go to bali the summer between first year and second year which we had to pay for obviously it's not like included in the price of a degree but we were going to go to bali for i can't remember how long we were going to go for but the course was going to be i think two weeks and in that course you learn some balinese dance drama techniques you learn some puppetry some music and then you like immersed in the culture being in Bali so you learn things about the culture as well so me and my friend Jess were like absolutely let's go we have to do this it'll be so good and the reason they suggest people doing it between first year and second year is because your one of your first modules in second year is we all just call it the Bali module but you learn uh, ritual and religious performance and within that you do Balinese dance drama and you learn about the culture of Bali um, and you're fully like immersed in it for that whole first term pretty much and it's probably one of the hardest modules that you do on the course um, because the dance technique is so difficult <laughs> from a dancer I'm telling you it's it's difficult and you put your body in ways that you've never put your body before so me and Jess were like let's go to Bali let's do this course it'll be amazing and at the time of us saying we were going to do it was towards the end of I think it was like March, April of first year and not many people were signing up for it and we were like oh gosh it might get cancelled because they needed a certain amount of people and we said should we just book our flights anyway and if we can't do the course with the through the university let's just go anyway watch loads of shows when we're there if we can get some course when we're there then we can and like sort of just go for a holiday but also learn a lot about the culture before doing the module in second year so we booked the flights anyway and we would booked them for staying in Bali for six weeks but because of visas you also have to fly out of Bali and back in again so we ended up booking flights to Australia as well um so me and Jess did that the course got cancelled we went to Bali for six weeks, flew out to Australia for 10 days and back again so we didn't mess with the visas um, and we vlogged that whole trip except for like one week of it. So if you go on my channel, I was filming it all on my phone because I didn't want to take any cameras with us. Um, so I vlogged that whole trip and you can see like the behind the scenes of that if you want to go and check out those videos. It was such an amazing trip and we actually managed to get a day with the people that were going to be doing the course. So we still got to meet them and do little bits and bobs with them. Um, even though it was just a day, it was still amazing. That was probably one of my favourite days of the whole course. Uh, of the whole holiday, not course. And uh, we watched loads of live shows. The music is just everywhere, so you you do hear it. And we learnt loads about the culture, so it was amazing. So that was the summer between first and second year, ready to start second year with knowing a lot about Bali. In second year, I lived in a student house. 
there is basically only really one student house company in South End, and I don't even care about saying this because I had an awful experience with them. Uh, so just really be careful with that if you're looking for student housing in South End. Um, some people get really lucky with their houses and some people just don't, um, we didn't. We turned up on the first week of second year to find the locks not working on the front door, uh, the house was an absolute mess, there was paint everywhere, it was just awful and we sort of got no apology for it, um, it was just ridiculous really, there was just stuff everywhere and Throughout the year we had lots of bad experiences, I'm not going to go into all the details but we just had bad experiences with the company and with that house so yeah that's one thing to bear in mind. Going on to talk about like actual degree stuff in second year, so in first term we did the ritual and religious performance module so for that you do have a lecture, one lecture per week and then you have the practical classes. Uh, in the lecture you obviously learn about the culture, religion, the rituals um, that go alongside the practical stuff. As I said in my last video, I don't enjoy um, lecture classes really, <laughs> that's just because I like being in the studios, but I understand that you have to do the lecture classes um, when it's to do with culture and religion and ritual and things like that because it's really important and if you don't understand where it's coming from then that's very disrespectful and I completely understand that. I just get a bit bored in lecture classes because I just want to be on my feet doing things all the time. Um, so yeah, so we had one of the one practical and one lecture class, but I think the practical class was um, a double. So I think we had four hours, but I can't remember that fully. And in the practical classes, we learned Barris Pressy, which is uh, sort of the male warrior dance. Uh, for temple ceremonies in Bali and for the female dance I say this because anyone can do either it's just the way that it comes from Bali um, we did pendet and I ended up doing pendet in the final performance I think I probably have some vlogs like from that time of second year somewhere um, I really enjoyed learning the dances it's very hard and as a dancer you don't learn it in counts of eight and stuff so that's quite difficult when you've been drilled in your head to learn things to a certain timing and then alongside that we also learnt Balinese music on a gamelan so one great thing about this course is we have a gamelan which is just mental because I don't really know who else out there has gamelans <laughs> just at your disposal to just use um, so we had Manny teaching us the gamelan and we learnt the music to go alongside the performances so basically by the time it was the show you the week before the show I think it was you got told which dance you were going to be doing therefore you'd be doing the music for the other dance and it all comes together very nicely but you have to follow the music has to follow the dancers and the dance has to follow the music it's like this relationship that goes on and it's uh, quite difficult to get <laughs> So yeah, that was really tough, the whole term was very long, we were all exhausted, our bodies were just in pain and it's a really tough long term but the show at the end was really really good and really fun. So as well as that in first term you also start doing mask work and um, more practically mask work I believe, I can't remember if we started the lectures in first term or not but we did a lot of practical mask and we worked with Balinese half masks, we worked with neutral masks, larval masks, no masks, um, I think Comedia masks, Greco-Roman masks, this might be in first and second term, I'm trying to remember, but I think mainly in first term we did all that. And so when we worked with the Balinese half masks, we then um, worked with them quite a bit, ended up working in pairs and little groups and we created some scenes that we then put in the final performance with the dancers too. Um, and me and my friend Ben did one where I was his grandma and I can't really remember what it was about but I was his grandma and uh, it was all to do with this big temple ceremony that we, we had it all together. So that was really fun, like I say it's very very difficult and that term is very stressful, I'm not gonna lie, went home crying a lot would sit in the bath with muscle soak because my muscles were just giving up on me. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, a very tough one. It didn't help alongside that 
that first term also was just like very chaotic in my personal life so uh, I got very ill in October of that term so I'd only been at uni for a few weeks really got really ill missed a whole week of of class and then the week at the probably two weeks after even I was still quite ill um and it was probably one of the most ill I've been in my life and I don't know what it was but it was just horrible so yeah I got really ill and then that was just not fun and then um I've mentioned this in a video before but about a month after that my grandma passed away during that term so that was not good as well so my personal life was not the best during this term that was very stressful and it was all very a lot so yeah didn't really enjoy lots of that term so i was very thankful when the christmas holidays came around and i was like just get me home i don't really know how much details go into about like really personal things to do with the modules but let's just say that no matter no matter how good you are at doing the modules or doing the work people will find a way to make you feel really shit about yourself and that is just true facts um i don't if i get backlash from that from whoever then whatever but basically you could be the best Balinese dancer and i'm pretty sure you'd still get told something's not good about what you're doing um it was a weird one really some people really struggled with it and somehow didn't get told stuff and some people like were good at it and got told that they weren't and it was just very confusing to be honest um so that term was just a lot alongside that we must have been doing other things as well but that just seemed to take over quite a lot I'm trying to think what else we even did. We had a lot of freeze in second year, which I really didn't enjoy, especially because I didn't really like the house I was in. I loved the people I was living with, but I didn't like being home alone in that house. Um, but yeah, we, I felt like we had so many freeze and we did actually complain about that to the course because we just felt like we weren't really getting what we went there for. Um, and we said like, sort of what can we do in our spare time? Like we've got all these freeze. And we ended up just doing like our own bits and bobs and reading plays and watching films and stuff like that because we just tried to immerse ourselves in the industry when we weren't in class pretty much. I would go and sit in a cafe and read or something like that. Um, but yeah, I did find that difficult because I like, I like a lot of routine and I like being busy. So that was something I did find a bit like, you don't do any skills classes in second year as I mentioned um, in my last video so in first year you do your skills classes and then in second year you just focus on particular modules and we also had to do an essay for the ritual and religious performance module which I'm pretty we did it over the Christmas holidays and it was due in January so you have like the whole of the first time to absorb information and then you did it so as well in second year you do production skills which is where you learn sort of all the behind the scenes of the theater world so we learned about lighting sound props set stage management um and sort of the technical terms to use for those things and also how they organize rehearsals um safety risk assessments getting sourcing props different things like that uh, so that was quite interesting if people want to go into stage management or do different things within the theatre world as well as acting or not, if they don't want to do acting they can go in um, to different things through that department. You also do a short film project which is part of that model so I think it's called media and production skills so the media side of it is learning how to create a short film and doing it from scratch in small groups you get given a camera and you learn how to edit obviously I already knew how to do that but it was different software um so me and neve and lois and vara did one about uh basically it was just <laughs> it was really weird actually we filmed it in my house at the time and it was about um this girl who moved into a house at uni with some new girls and she thought they were all being weird with her and then she like psyched herself up and ended up like having a knife and it was very weird um 
So we did that and we enjoyed that project so much, but we got very stressed by it as well. <laughs> but we did have so much fun. So that's alongside the production skills module really good learning skills behind the scenes so you, I think that's really important for an actor anyway just so you understand what other people are going through um, within the industry that's not just being the actors so that was really good and as well as that in second term we also carried on doing masks so we did practical masks and then uh, we carried on doing lectures for masks and then we had to create our own masks so over Christmas we had to create um, sort of a model of what we wanted to do, a design. We brought them in, we showed them and then from there we decided if we wanted to carry on doing that or not and then made a proper mask using a clay mould and all the equipment and everything and then we could decide what type of mask it was, where it came from, what it was to do with, whether it was a performance mask or a show mask different things like that and I basically created a mask that was the seven deadly sins around like a face that had like blood dripping down it um did I put blood down it in the end yes I did um and it had that long black hair basically it was just to remind you it was supposed to be um like a show mask that goes on the wall to remind you not to commit the seven deadly sins which sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud but I actually like, I, I don't mind arts and crafts, I didn't really want to be doing that on my degree because I want to be an actress, but it was quite fun and it was quite therapeutic, just like painting and creating. Um, and then we had to do a presentation with that that we were also marked on. And then the other modules that you do in second term, it's much easier for me to remember second term because I feel like I was just a bit more with it in second term. Um, so in second term we did playwriting and we actually had an ex-world performance student teaching us playwriting which was quite interesting to be fair like learning um, sort of how to create a play from scratch or a scene or a script and then we did loads of different exercises on how to create ideas from nothing and then we did the playwriting challenge where we had to write a play or a, like a scene, uh, a short script every day for 30 days and that was just so hard because trying to think of ideas for that was really really hard and we were only allowed to have one day off so some of mine were definitely rubbish but <laughs> we all just posted them on this group and we could read each other's um so yeah that was that was really interesting and alongside that module it's a part of the storytelling module you have storytelling classes with mike dodsworth and he is just incredible um you learn from scratch how to create stories, different ways of telling stories, um, different audiences and how you can engage them using like soundscapes or whether you literally just sit and tell a story and that was so so good and we literally had so much fun on that module. We played so many games and we all just had the best time and that was probably one of my favourite things that we ever did. So that was really really good. Oh, we did so much in second term now I'm thinking about it Wow, we really did loads in second term. So yeah, we did that that performance was actually Literally the day that we got told everyone had to leave university for COVID so That is very memorable for me because we were all sat telling stories and then we just got told out of nowhere on an email Everyone has to leave uni tonight at four so we had for that one we were marked on two days where we were just constantly going up and telling stories in groups or ones or twos and you could do it where you fed off someone else's story if it was along the same theme or it could completely contrast and you could use your body you could do like a whole routine you could use music or you could literally just sit and talk and that was so much fun those two days were just the most chill fun days ever and what a great way to end it before covid <laughs> so that was storytelling that and alongside playwriting and for playwriting we got assessed in the end on like one final play that we wrote i'm not i can't really remember what mine was about to be honest um it probably wasn't very good because i can't remember what it was <laughs> Um, as well in second term you do non-western character acting and i've mentioned before this is my favorite module that we did at the whole three years um so you have a teacher called shane shambu and you learn the basics of Bharatanatyam, which is an indian dance form and from that you then learn how you can incorporate that into standard acting 
and you create these amazing pieces. Some people did monologues, duologues, group pieces, people had music in there, well I mean, most of them had music in actually, uh, but some people incorporated the music themselves, other people had background music, and for that one I actually did a monologue from People, Places and Things, which one of my favourite plays, and I had a song in mind of what I wanted to do, and then basically with the band that we had, everyone brought their own instruments and stuff, we created music to go alongside the pieces, so for that everyone just started like improvising based on what I'd played them, and that was what accompanied my piece, which was crazy, it was amazing. And then I had the physicality from Baronatium in my piece, um, different gestures and foot positions, eye, head movements, and it just adds such a different element into a performance, which was really, really good. Um, and for that we just did a show one evening, we had a big audience for that show actually and we all just showed our pieces and that was great and we all, that was the essay of second term, it was that, it wasn't about masks. So we had to do an essay for Shane's module, we might have had to do another one, I really can't remember, we had to do an essay for Shane's module um, about, it was a very philosophical question actually, I can't remember what it was but it was a very philosophical question and we had to use everything we'd learned. So we had a lecture with Shane and practical classes and then we had to write an essay. So it was quite a big part of second year, but for a lot of people that was one of their favorite things that they did on the course and it was definitely one of my favorite things. And then COVID happened and we all had to go home in a rush. So that was a bit crazy. Um, I was like, yeah, get an extra two weeks of Easter holidays, woo. And it ended up being months and months and months. So that's really fun. So we all left for COVID, um, we obviously didn't really know what was going to happen and the third term of drama school was fully on Zoom which was very very difficult as you can probably imagine, Zoom at its best is not great and we had to perform on Zoom so it was awful. We had to think of how we could adapt the modules that we were going to be doing to be on Zoom and the modules that we did were comedy and clowning and then we have two visiting artists and usually you also do a show at the end of first, uh, at the end of second year. So the, for the visiting artists, we had um, Buto and we had Shakespeare. For Shakespeare, we had Stephen Unwin and for Buto, we had Florencio Gerberoff and they taught us fully online. So for Stephen, we had Zoom classes like once a week and for Shakespeare, we did a project called Shakespeare in 35 objects and you might have seen it on my channel already. I had the object milk I had to go through all the Shakespeare plays finding where milk is used and Turn that into a short uh, two-minute video and I loved it because I was filming and editing which is great And then we put them all together into one long film and we all sat and watched it at the end of the module And that was really really fun. I love Shakespeare and I love video editing so I had a great time But obviously that wouldn't happen in normal circumstances um, you would probably get someone coming to visit from another country or from somewhere else who is teaching something from another country. Um, I know a lot of the time they have like African dance and drumming, they ma they've had shadow puppetry and things like that but obviously we had to revert to being online so we had to think of different ways to do things and that was a really really good module for me particularly, I loved it. Um, and then for Buto, this was so difficult for a lot of us. Um, Buto is a very profound and it's a very internal um, dance form and you have to really sort of meditate while you do it. And because we were at home, that was really, really difficult. Um, so we were sort of in our spare rooms or bedrooms trying to dance but not having enough space and it was really really difficult, I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't because it really was. And um, Florencia would um, speak to us on like a Facebook live every week and then she would post certain videos that we had to follow. And then we made short films which again I love making short films and stuff so I was loving that and I actually wrote a poem and filmed alongside the poem and then edited it all together using the dance technique and then we would send that one off, get feedback from that one and then do another one as our final one. And that's also on my YouTube channel. I will link all these down below because you might want to, you might be interested. Um, I believe that Buto artists have come to the school as well before. So that could potentially happen in the next few years. 
once COVID is done or I think the visiting artists are now coming back in. So you won't ever have to do it on Zoom like I did, <laughs> but that was really fun. And then for the visiting artist module, we had to do an essay that covered both of those, um, which was fine to be honest. I actually quite enjoyed that one. It was something to distract my mind during all the COVID stuff. <laughs> And then alongside that we did the comedy and clowning module. With that one we had two different teachers. We had a teacher called Winnie and a teacher called Jeff. And one of them we did Commedia, um, which was so hard as well to do in a spare room or in your bedroom or whatever at home. But I'd done a bit of Commedia before so I found that one quite enjoyable. And then again for assessments we had to do short films um, with a character or two characters um, and actually I didn't do as well in that module as I wanted to do but I knew that the video wasn't very good that I sent off. I was at that point of Covid that I was like oh my god this is just the worst thing ever like I just don't want to do anything and I was just having one of those days and I just sent off a video that I knew wasn't very good so that was my own fault but I did learn a lot from the module still. And then for comedy we had, well it was comedy clowning um, with Winnie that was also very difficult to do on zoom because we were doing comic timing and then someone's wi-fi would just freeze and it would just be ridiculous but we learnt loads and for that one we had to create a character and do a short film as well for the assessment obviously because we were all remote and for that one i was um a baker called bethany and i was scottish and i just basically i literally just had the best time in my kitchen just dancing around and doing loads of weird stuff and pretended that I had like a baking YouTube channel and that was really fun and I'm pretty sure that was the whole of um, third term we would have had to have done a show if we were in person but we didn't do that unfortunately um, so that was a bit not great but I think they couldn't have really done anything about it at that point so that was that was the whole of second year's modules I'm pretty sure I hope I haven't forgotten anything it was a really, really tough year. I'm not gonna lie to anyone and say it was easy because it wasn't. Obviously, in my personal life, there was things all over the place that were not very good. Um, and then COVID and it was just, it was a lot, um, <laughs> as well as the modules being very difficult. I think it just kind of, maybe it needed to happen in my life. Maybe I needed that difficult time, but it was really, really good. We learned so much and i feel like covid the fact that we could get through covid doing things online was just incredible um and yeah maybe we all needed it really who knows i think i personally did need covid because i was going through quite not a very good time before that and then covid really allowed me to spend a lot of time with myself and my family and just really focus on myself so I, I think I did need that. I hope I've mentioned all the modules from second year. I think I have. If not, I'll try and remember and put something down below. Um, in terms of social life, obviously social life started off great and then it just went downhill with COVID. We knew the ropes a bit more because we were second years. We made friends with first years. So that was really fun. There was more people around. But then COVID happened and that just wasn't good at all, obviously. But other than that, I think that is the whole of second year pretty much summed up. It was difficult, um, but very good, learnt so much and prepared us perfectly ready for third year for our big shows, which will be covered in the next video, which will hopefully be in the next week or so. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you enough information about the course. I may have forgotten bits. I'm really sorry if I have. I've tried to be as open as possible about my experiences of it all. But yeah, second year was very up and down probably more so than first year. It was crazy, crazy, crazy and stressful. But if you're going into second year, then good luck. Um, or if you're joining the course, then good luck. And let me know if you have any questions down below or you can message me on Instagram. I'm very happy to answer things. And yes, I hope that helped. And I hope it gives you a bit of insight into what goes on behind the scenes at drama school. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh